they have to remember or realize that for health insurance, for example, they have to cover you regardless of any pre-existing condition, which is a huge change in the health insurance industry with the Affordable Care Act or what people like to call Obamacare, right? It's a law that says that insurance companies have to accept you regardless of pre-existing conditions. And then again, based on income and family size, um, if you qualify, help you pay for a part of that with that tax credit. But I, I find a lot of solopreneurs or self-employed individuals are scared to even have the conversation because they think it's going to be outside of their budget. But then when they realize it's based on their income and when you're self-employed, if you get, if you pay yourself with like a 1099, like true self-employed, not through your company, what the government is asking for is what is your net income? So after expenses, business expenses, okay, mm -hmm. um, you expect to make. So it's really important. And I know it's hard when you're self-employed because you don't know, you don't have a magic ball to know if you're going to get 10 clients this month or one or zero or whatever, right? But to try to estimate as close as you can what you think your income will be for the year, right? So, you know, you can take what you've made on average a month and then use that as an estimate. But I would say, you know, don't don't be scared of having that conversation because the amount of people that after talking to me tell me I'm so relieved because I was thinking I was going to be paying, you know, $1,000 a month and now I'm only paying 80 